inches longer than the regular Escalade, $145,000 Canadian, 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 with 420 horsepower. Yes, this big monster SUV is all about numbers. And yes, this is the 2023 Cadillac Escalade ESV. Now we have already shot content with the regular Escalade. So if you haven't watched that video, do hit up the link somewhere on the screen around to watch that video. Mostly we'll be highlighting the differences between this extended long wheelbase version of the Escalade compared to the regular one. Let's see how this big SUV is. Front end of the Cadillac Escalade ESV looks just like a regular Cadillac Escalade, which is not a bad thing because it's a very, very handsome looking SUV in the market. In fact, it's one of the most handsome SUVs I feel in the market and it's very imposing as well. You see the high grille, the high bonnet, the big grille and the sleek headlights with LEDs inside. And this has something called the Onyx package, which means the grille is all blacked out and the Cadillac logo is all silvered out instead of having the regular red an orange color mix palette with it this is all silvered out so this is part of the onyx package and the paint as well so most of the escalades you see is black this is a slight grayish tone it might not be very visible on camera because in the dark it actually passes off just as black so this is something that's a very different spec compared to a regular uh, escalade and keen noticers will definitely point out the differences that I just mentioned the color and the grill the side profile of the escalade again is very boxy but quite essential escalate it's extremely long and this being the esv which means it's actually longer than the regular escalate and that's something that's a bit tough to digest because the regular escal escalate itself is already so big and so long this is a bit longer but the extra length is after the rear wheel so basically the extended part is a c pillar onwards and that's to accommodate more legroom for the third passengers and way more cargo space with all three rows up the rear of the escalade is quintessential escalade you've got the long sleek headlights led units and You've got minimal badging on the tailgate that says Escalade and 600, which is the talk figure that this 6.2 naturally aspirated V8 has. You've also got the silver logo because of the part of the Onyx package. And you can't actually tell if you look at bang on from the rear that this is the ESV or any other variant compared to the regular Escalade. The tailgate also opens in two parts, so you can actually open only the glass or the tailgate as a whole, which I think is a very cool feature. And yeah. This, you can't tell much difference. I think Cadillac should have perhaps added a badge that says ESV perhaps to distinguish it from the regular Escalade. As you can see, the boot space of the Escalade is so massive. It can accommodate a full-size human like me. I'm five foot eight and pretty wide, but this can easily take people like me in the boot. Inside the Cadillac Escalade ESV now and as you can see it's a great place to be. It has literally the same interior with the regular Escalade in the front seats as well, at least and it's so luxurious. Cadillac knows how to make a luxurious interior. You've got the big you know 36 inch curved OLED screen with wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. The only grouse I feel is that when you use CarPlay it becomes a small screen instead of using the whole screen uh, it would have been really good because the resolution is actually really nice so if they had the opportunity to use the whole screen it would have been absolutely perfect you've also got the digital speedometer and everything and you've got the augmented reality which i'm personally a big fan of and it actually helps a lot driving this big truck especially in tight spaces especially in downtown uh, areas everything else feels very luxurious you've got the leather you've got the wood you've got some aluminium around here Cadillac just knows how to make a luxurious interior. You've got some aluminium here as well, which is the part of the 39 speaker AKG music system this car has, and it sounds absolutely fabulous. Once you get used to this, it's very difficult to listen music in other cars. Now in the middle row of the Escalade ESV, and it's pretty much similar to the regular Escalade here as well. You've got so much legroom, so much under thigh support, and 
I mean, it's one of the best places to sit in this car, and honestly, it's a tough one to decide whether you want to be you want to drive or be driven in this car. The seats are so nice; they're captain seats, so you've got the armrest as well. You've got a big screen as well to you know play your media. You've got HDMI ports, USB ports, and a plug point as well, so you can perhaps hook up your Xbox or PlayStation to play on this. You've also got a wireless AKG headsets uh, for with that are noise cancelling that you can use to hear or watch. your media on the screen and you'll be completely cut off from other noises in the car what can i say carol like just knows how to nail it and this is this suv is no different the real changes however are in the third row of the esv where you have way more legroom compared to the regular escalate and you've got way more cargo room with all three rows up as well One thing though I feel that now you know it's rival SUVs like the Defender 130 and the BMW X7 they provide a glass for the third row as well here the sunroof ends here and there is no glass in the third row perhaps Cadillac can perhaps think about adding a glass for the third row in perhaps a next iteration of the Escalade not a deal breaker though but definitely would lighten up the interior even more Now I'm behind the wheel of the Cadillac Escalade ESV. This is the extended wheelbase, but mechanically it's exactly the same. So it's got the same 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 petrol engine that produces about 420 horsepower. This ESV though weighs more than the regular Escalade. I think about 150 kg more, which is already hefty because the regular Escalade is already way overweight than it should be. but it's no slouch let's see how this extended version of the escalade drives so set off put into drive and it feels big honestly when you're driving it feels really big this extended wheelbase version especially when you're maneuvering tight spaces in downtown and traffic or just parking feels a bit of a handful but this car has lots of gadgetry wizardry going on with camera sensors everything so it makes it extremely easy to maneuver and navigate in tight spaces the drive position is really upright so you can see the whole hood so that makes it easy to judge edges as well otherwise it drives like a regular escalade it's got the famous magna ride air suspension which rides amazingly well i've been touring with this car in the northern parts of ontario and i've been driving on some rough roads but nothing gets filtered into the cabin because the seats the suspension is such a great combination that you hardly feel anything and you can just drive endless miles and miles in fact i did like 900 or 50 odd kilometers in like 9 hours or so amazing average speed because this car is made for grand touring not just regular touring grand touring yes you can just munch the miles put on the massage seats cool seats and carry on going You will have to stop in between at times too to fill up because this car is a bit of a drinker and the tank size is huge. Yet it'll do about 750 to 800 kilometers on a tank and I think it's a 110 liter tank which is immense. It's actually bigger than the regular Escalade for this ESV, but the the range isn't that great because you'll get about 11.5 to 12 liters per 100 on the highway and in the city it goes up to 20 22 liters per 100 which is but you, that's not a deal breaker because this car is not meant to be driven the city it's mostly for highways open roads and it excels honestly when you turn in on a corner like a sweeping corner there is body roll but it's so comfortable and i mean i don't know carillac just knows how to nail suspension tuning each time with every car i've driven this is no different one bonus though this has the cat back exhaust so when i drop it into sport mode with the button here and it gets louder i can you know just Conclusion then the 2023 Cadillac Escalade ESV. Well, where do I start? The Escalade itself is already such a competent, formidable product in the market today, and the ESV, the extended wheelbase version, makes it even more desirable. Why? Because it lends you way more space in the third row and way more cargo space if you feel the need to take your whole house with you every single time. I can see why these SUVs are so popular in Uber Blacks, Uber SUVs. Because they do it all. At about hundred forty-five thousand dollars Canadian, it's a bit 
on the expensive side. But at that price point, there is literally very less SUVs in the market that will do what this can do with the combination of space, power and these awesome looks. I, in, I personally am a big fan of the Escalade and this ESV is no different. Perhaps the only Escalade for me to left to test is the Monster Escalade V. I hope to see it sometime on this channel. See you next time.